Hi, I'm a Smoking Elk, and today I'm going to show you how I like to prepare and smoke these beautiful beef ribs. So I absolutely love beef ribs. They are a great alternative to brisket. They're cheaper, they're easier to cook, I find. They don't take as long as brisket and the end result is just as good. You get that lovely bark on there, that lovely smoke. So today I want to show you how I prepare my beef ribs, how I get them ready for the smoker, how long I smoke them for, what temperature I take them to, just generally my preferred method for these. So I've got these beautiful beef ribs here, beef short ribs from Philip Warren Butchers. Now you see here they've got a bit of a fat cap on. Now some people like to leave this on, I like to take it off because underneath here you will find that there's a bit of membrane which is going to be, it's not going to break down so it's going to be tough, it's going to be chewy, nobody wants to be eating that. So I'm going to trim this part off and then what we're going to do is I'm just gonna get, you can just use salt and pepper. Most of the time I will just use salt and pepper as a rub, but I've got a nice crap black pepper rub here that I'm gonna use, which is basically salt, pepper, bit of paprika, bit of, bit of garlic powder in there. So um, let's get these trimmed up. Already, these look good enough to eat for me, but we know they're going to look a lot better when they come out of the barbecue. Now, as I've shown you there, we discussed that I like to take the fat off to get rid of that membrane. You've seen how thick that membrane was. That's gone. We're not going to have to chew our way through that, which is great. Now to put the rub on here, we've obviously gone for a little coating of mustard just to enable that rub to stick. So a coat of the mustard over there. We've gone on with my crap black pepper rub. Remember, you can just use salt and pepper. You can use black pepper, garlic powder, paprika, salt. Just plenty of salt, plenty of pepper, then add whatever other flavours you, you want on there. I've put plenty on here, then just giving it a little quick knock, and anything that falls off doesn't need to be on there. So these are now ready for the smoker. Now, I'm going to be cooking these in the Kamado Joe Jr. I'm going to be cooking them at somewhere between 275 and 300 Fahrenheit, which is around about 140 to 150 Celsius. Now, time-wise, obviously, I always say to cook to temperature. Of course, we're going to use the thermo pen at the end just to check the final temperature, but to monitor the cook, and not only to monitor the internal temperature of the meat, but to monitor the temperature of the grill grate as well, I'm going to be using this thermo pen smoke. Now, this is a beautiful bit of kit. It's a great bit of kit. It's got two probes on here. So one of these probes is going to go into the meat. That's going to give us the internal temperature of the meat as it cooks. The other probe is going to sit on the grill grate. It's going to tell me the temperature of my barbecue at all points while it's cooking. So we don't have to rely on the thermometer on the barbecue. We know exactly what temperature we are at the grill grate where the meat is cooking. So this is a great bit of kit. Now, like I said, one probe is going to go into the meat, into the thickest part of the meat, but we're not going to take these off when they're done. We're going to take these off after about three hours because I like to get enough smoke on there. We've got cherry for the smoke today, so I want to get enough smoke on there which is around about three hours in, where we should start to get a nice bit of bark on these. And then I'm going to take them out. I'm just going to wrap them in foil. You can wrap them in butcher paper, and you can wrap them in foil. Today we're going to be using foil, just to show you how easy it is. And then they just go back in until this tells me that they've hit an internal temperature of about 93 degrees Celsius. Now, 93 degrees Celsius is the perfect time to then start probing for tenderness. And now what, what I mean by that is we take our thermopen, we start going in to the meat between the bones, and once this thermo pen can just drop through the meat with no resistance, well, then I know they're done. So 93 degrees, we start testing these. We test it with the thermo pen at the end. I'm excited, I can't wait, I love beef ribs. So let's get them in to the Kamado Joe and introduce them to some smoke.
an unusual one for me today. Now my beef ribs normally take anywhere between four and five hours. Now these were showing as almost ready before I even went to wrap them. They were showing at 90 degrees after just over two hours. Now, if I'd have cooked these using my normal method without cooking to temperature, I would have left them in there for three hours, then wrapped them, then they go in for another two hours, they would be ruined. This is why you always cook the temperature. Now I've used my Thermopen smoke, my Thermorex smoke, that has monitored the temperature. It's told me that they were at 90 degrees after two hours. So I haven't bothered wrapping them, um, which is something I've never done with ribs before. So we're gonna see how that's turned out. But I've left them in there for about another 45 minutes. So about two hours, 45 in total. And they were probing tender using the Thermopen at about 93, 94. Some places 95, 96 degrees Celsius. So I know these are done because these have told me they were done. If I hadn't used these, like I said, they'd be overdone. I would have just ruined them. So thankful for these tools. That's why you use them. So the fact it's cooked so quick, I don't know how juicy they're going to be. I'm hoping they're still going to be as good as the ribs that I normally do, but we shall see. So let's get these unwrapped. We'll slice into them and see how we've done. The smell has hit me, it's just incredible. Um, you've seen that they are pretty juicy, considering they've cooked in what, two hours, 45 minutes, been resting for about 45 minutes. I'm really happy with them. So do get yourself these toys, do get yourself a Thermopen, I highly recommend that as a number one barbecue gadget. The Thermopen smoke is really handy to leave in to monitor the cook like we've done here. So on the smoke and elk, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. <laughs> I've just got fat all over me. <laughs> On a smoking elk, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. <laughs>